What's up, you guys? I want to show you this very evil, brutal integral that I've proposed for the UK University Integration B. Uh, <coughs> God, rest in peace to the Singapore students who, who had to get this integral specifically. Um, if you want to try it out yourself, um, go ahead at your own risk. <laughs> you will... I don't blame you if you can't figure it out because it's it's not normal. This is a very uh, not normal integral, uh, but I would say to be honest, out of it's um, the solution is easy to understand, but to find it is very inhumane. Okay, is this is probably one of the most advanced zero substitution? Oh shit! I already well. I hope you paused before I said that, but. <laughs> <laughs> I I hope you paused. Um but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and dive into the solution, shall we? Cuz I bet you're dying to to know what the the quick solution to this integral. So, to surprise you even more, this function is elementary, meaning that it is integrable. It is an integrable elementary function. So here we can, I guess we can just, we're just going to focus on the, oh, well, I'll draw, I'll draw yellow. So let's, let's only focus on the function first. So yes, this is elementary. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to write like this. And I'm going to do a zero substitution. I'm going to let I'm going to let zero equal to inverse cosh minus inverse cosh. Now, there is you do have to know what cosh is. You you really do know you do need to know what cosh, inverse cosh is. So inverse cosh of x is equal to the ln of x plus square root of x squared minus 1. That is my phone going off. Um, don't mind me with my phone. But we're going to use this definition, right? And I, I know this is, it's going to be crazy. I think you already know where this is going to go, right? It's, it's really crazy. So we're going to keep the negative term, and this positive term is going to be in terms of ln, the log form, okay? So that the e to the ln, whatever this is, it become, we get e to the x square plus x square root of x square minus 1 minus inverse cosh. And then we would end up with x plus square root of x squared minus 1 dx. Yes, I have to, uh, I'm afraid I have to break it up to you that this is just a simple u substitution. So if you let u equal x squared plus x square root of x squared minus 1 minus inverse cosh then du is equal to 2x here we have let's see we have like x over 2 root of x squared minus 1 oh but then we have the okay the chain rule then plus x square square root of x squared minus 1 so product rule obviously and then here this is just minus 1 over square root of this. So these two, they cancel. Uh, well, they don't cancel out, but they simplify. Right? This and this is equal to this. So we have 2 of this. Ah, uh, would you look at that? So what does that look like? Ah, uh, this is equal to a half. I feel so bad if they figured this out, but they forgot the half. 
Oh. Oh god, the pain, the agony. If, if you've forgotten the half, I'm so sorry for you. But it is a half. So the answer is one half of e to the the rest of this. Okay, so that's x squared plus x square root of x squared minus 1 minus inverse cos. I believe if you even put this, if you put this integral in, in Wolfram Alpha, I think it would say like, like no answer or something. Or like not integrable or something like that. But this is indeed integrable as you can see, right? So, plug in 1 and 2, uh, it's going to be a little nasty. So, back to this integral here. We could literally go from here instead, right? And if you plug in 1, uh, we get, let's see, that's 0. Inverse of cosh. What is inverse cosh? Oh, inverse cosh of 1 is, is also 0. So, we just have 1. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not, that's lower bound, sorry. 1 is here. And then plug in 2, we get 4 plus uh, 2 root 3, and then minus the ln of 2 plus root 3. I believe that's that. Okay. And then this is now equal e to the u so it's e to the 4 plus 2 thirds uh, with minus the so 2 plus root 3 like that and then minus e I believe that's it oh yeah that that, that seems right yeah because that half correlates to the denominator which fits uh, which matches the exponent yeah so this is correct so there we go. That should be your answer. Okay. Whew. Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> it's a very, this is probably the most evil, brutal integral I've ever proposed to an official integration B. Um, I can't think anything more evil than this. <laughs> All right. So I hope you enjoy that. I hope that surprised you. Okay. So um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.